Hi guys, I hope you're enjoying Somerset County's virtual camp and making the most of this weekend and enjoying lots and lots of the activities that people have put on for you. So I'm going to put on for you a science experiment today and we're going to see if we can make our fish swim across the water. Now, you are going to need to do this, a piece of cardboard, just some thin cardboard, it could be any colour you like, a tray of water, it can be a baking tray, it can be a washing up bowl, any sort of thing you've got as long as there's enough water in it to make your fish swim some washing up liquid, some scissors to cut your fish out, and then some pens to decorate your fish. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your fish out. So you can draw it on first of all on the paper, on the card and then cut it out, or you can just do it freehand like I am today. The really important thing about this fish is it's got to have a V-shaped pointy tail at the end because this helps it swim forward. So you see I've got a pointy tail at the end. Now you can decorate your fish and make it as bright and colourful as you want. So this is one I coloured in earlier and I'm just going to give it a face so it knows which direction it's going because I don't want it swimming backwards. So just put its eye on and a little smiley face for my fish. Now, if I put this fish in the water now, it just wouldn't go anywhere. It would stay still and eventually it would start to sink because it would get too heavy and filled with water. So our magic ingredient, our secret trick is the washing up liquid. Now, I'm just using a cocktail stick here to put it on. You can use your finger, you could use the end of a pencil, anything to help you put it on. But the really important part is that you get it right on the V in the middle on that little bit there. Now, I'm just going to put it on the top and on the bottom because I don't want this to go wrong. So we'll just, I'm gonna put a bit more on the bottom just to make sure it's covered. And as you can see, I'm just putting it on that little part of the V there. Now it's time to make our fish swim. So I'm gonna pop it in the water, flat like that, at one end so we can see it swim across. And I'm gonna show you what happens when it swims across. So here's my little fish, and we're gonna pop them into the water and watch him float across. That's quite cool, isn't it? And he swims all by himself. I don't need to touch him. I don't need to add anything else to the water. He swims all on his own. Now, the science behind it. What makes our fish swim when normally it would just stay on the water flat? Well, the top of the water has effectively an invisible skin on it and it's called water tension. That's what keeps it in place. That's what normally wouldn't allow it to float or to move anywhere. However, the washing liquid creates a sort of oily film and the oily film, the oily soapy film, breaks that, set, that tension and allows it to push the water away and the water tension away. So there you go, that's how you make your fish swim across the water. Now if you want to repeat the activity again and you want to make your fish swim again, it's really easy to do. Just let your fish dry out a little bit, put on some more washy up liquid and make sure you empty the tray of water, clean the tray and fill it with fresh water because this water's already got washing up liquid in it now and it won't work anymore. So I hope you enjoy trying out your science experiment. Give it a go, put on lots of photos, send us videos of you trying it at home so we can all see how you're getting on. And above all, have an amazing time this camp with your family and enjoy scouting from home. So take care, look after yourselves and we'll see you again soon. Bye.